balance scorecard uh, is a model that basically uh, focuses on both financials and non-financial and it says that company needs to consider uh, two things uh, that is financial and non-financial so it should take a balanced view now this scorecard uh, is a one that says there are four perspectives uh, and those four perspectives uh, are a one that are connected with the company's vision company's vision so in order to achieve the company's vision in order to achieve the company's vision it is really important that uh, <clears throat> one should uh, focus on these four perspective so what is a vision vision means uh, the preferred picture uh, how you think future will look like so it's a vision so to achieve the vision it says there are four perspective that the company should focus on and let me just tell you balance scorecard is a model that uh, uh, have been introduced by two doctors dr captain and dr norton and uh, what they did they did a research uh, and in that research they uh, used the successful companies and they saw why successful companies were successful and they figured out that the successful companies were successful because their focus was on four perspectives and those four perspectives are financial perspective customer perspective internal perspective and innovation and learning so uh, they they think that any company that focuses on a four perspective will be a successful company and plus the company will automatically take view of financials as well as non financial so it will not be just a one way uh, exercise of financials now the first perspective uh, basically focuses on shareholder value creation it says that uh, company should see whether uh, it has created the shareholder value and for that company can use financial performance indicators financial kpis uh, as you just saw before a huge list of that like percentage rows percentage sorry asset turnover in times current ratio uh, profit growth so these are just financial performance indicators so for financial perspective you can use that long list of financial performance indicators it says that another important perspective is customer you need to ensure that your customer is happy this customer is satisfied so for customer satisfaction it says that uh, you should have indicators and now when you focus on that customer perspective then your focus shifts towards non financials and these are known as non financial performance indicators which we call nfpis or i can say non financial key performance indicators as well like for example uh, as i initially mentioned at the start of the session that your fpis or nfpis are represented in terms of percentage uh, and uh, you can even represent your nfpis uh, in times in terms of number of something as well so you can see percentage sales return now this is something which is not financial based it's a non financial indicator percentage of sales return percentage of claims made these are all a one that indicates customer satisfaction then you can see number of as i mentioned initially number of so number of repeat customers yes uh, is a key thing uh, the more the customer comes again which means they are satisfied the less the sales return this means they are satisfied the less the claims made this means they are satisfied plus you have percentage of on time delivery if you deliver them on time so this means they are satisfied so uh, according to balance scorecard this second perspective is a one uh, that actually test whether the company is successful in satisfying their customers and to check this you have mainly non financial key performance indicators then it says that the business internal efficiency the business internal productivity is key it says that the business internal processes should be efficient should be productive should be fast because if the internal processes will be fast then the company will be a successful company so it says that the more the internal perspective is good the processes are good the company will be able to satisfy <coughs> its uh, customers timely and once they satisfy their customers timely uh, this means in turn they will satisfy their share 
so how to check whether the efficiency of the internal business is good or not again uh, we can see a list of key performance indicators and yes right now i can see another uh, your long list of non financial performance indicators like percentage of internal rejections the more the rejections the more the process is getting slower percentage error rates the more the error rates the more the process is going slower uh, percentage employee retention rate which means the more you are able to the more you are you are able to retain your employees uh, the more smoother the process will be percentage downtime this is mainly useful for some internet business or for some business that relies on internet like website has gone down so percentage system downtime again indicates how quick the process is if the website has gone down which means internal perspective is not good again you have average completion time per job indicates how quickly are we able to complete the job and this indicates our internal speed and efficiency so again the main focus here is towards non financials which are represented in terms of percentage or number of something then it says that the fourth key perspective for a business is innovation and learning and it says that every business uh, in order to be successful needs to ensure that they are developing themselves for the future and such a development includes two things that is their product development as well as their employee development this means they need to uh, develop new products as well and they need to develop the skills of their employees so both of the things come under innovation and learning so friends again there are indicators uh, as i mentioned that you you can use uh, <coughs> financial indicators uh, in customer perspective internal perspective innovation and learning you can use but normally uh, we focus more towards non financial indicators in these areas so we have indicators like for example you can see uh, number one number of number of new products developed so if you develop more new products this means you are creating sorry this means you are improving yourself and you are uh, planning for a better future same percentage of successful products now this is more powerful indicator this is more powerful non financial performance indicator uh, this is also non financial performance indicator, uh, but this is more powerful because it is <clears throat> giving you the idea of the success that how much successful the products are. Then you have percentage of income from new products. Now, this is a financial KPI. Okay, this is a financial performance indicator, but yes, it's 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 something that you can use. You can even use financial here in all these perspective as well, but mainly we use non financials here uh, another indicator we have is time from identifying a new product area to its market launch and this is indicating the time and time could be indicated in terms of for example days or maybe for example months so this is a very good indicator as well as it indicates how many days a company takes uh, from identifying the idea and to its market launch so this indicates the company's efficiency of innovation <clears throat> now balance scorecard uh, if you want to assess the performance of a company using balance scorecard so automatically your focus will be towards both financial and non-financial indicators yes this is true that in case of financial perspective our main focus is towards financial performance indicators and in terms of customers and internal perspective and innovation and learning our focus is towards more non financial performance indicators but remember uh, whenever you are representing or calculating any non financial performance indicator so your answer should be in terms of percentage or like this number of something okay so normally we represents nfpis in such a way so i hope uh, you you understood the basic idea uh, how actually we represent financial kpis and non-financial kpis 
and what a scorecard actually is now before moving towards building block model i want to move towards a possible question and yes today's class is about 12 million dollar points everyone are you listening me it's about 12 million dollar points and at the end of the today's session do let me know how useful the today's session uh, went for you people so <clears throat> when we are starting with the past paper question of financial and non-financial so let me just first uh, show you the question and then we'll come back and see what million dollar points are and how they will actually help us so a question of financial non-financial would come uh, most probably on a word processing sheet where you need to draft the entire answer we need to draft the theory where you need to work out the ratio so i'll tell you how to manage such a question on this word processing sheet but before that i'm moving towards my own area of working uh, but yes first let's have a look <coughs> So this is the question that we are right now targeting. Uh, so let's do one thing. Let's first read the uh, question and then let's move towards the area where we can see how we can use the million dollar points. And yes, please, uh, will you provide me a good feedback at the end of the today's session? Guys, tell me yes or no. <coughs> okay, so do give me uh, the feedback you are communicating with the teacher right now Monira Zafar as far I can see your comment here you have to write uh, here in the chat box <clears throat> so let's read the question uh, now first thing I need to tell you if you want to successfully if you want successfully to solve uh, a complete question of financial and non-financial so my first advice is that you have to have to read the scenario very thoroughly and carefully otherwise you cannot so let's see what the requirement is it says discuss the financial and non-financial performance of jungle company for the year ended 31st august 2016. note there are seven marks available for calculations and 13 marks available for discussion so this is a core area of, of discussion <clears throat> Now friends moving towards uh, the verb and the object as you all know I always split this into verb and object so the verb is discuss and what to discuss is your object and this is your object so we are provided with very less non-financial data as you can see here along with a huge financial data so <clears throat> there are certain things that I want to that I want you people to note down here while reading the scenario what are the key things that one should mark what are the key things that one should find especially for questions of financial and non-financial let's start jungle company is a very successful multinational retail company retail company it has been selling a large range of household and electronic goods for some year okay now <clears throat> now the first thing i I, I want that you people should always find out is the nature of the business what actually the nature of the business is which is right now a retail business and they are a retail business and they uh, sell electronic goods and household so the first thing that is find out the nature of the business second one year ago it began using new suppliers <coughs> from the country uh, of Slabak where labor is very cheap for many of its household goods secondly i want you people to highlight any important observation or the changes that the company has conducted or company plans to conduct i'm telling you i'm making this very easy for you and you will you yourself will give me a feedback very quickly right now after the question that sir this is a wow factor that I'm telling you and this will make your life really really easy so please do give me your feedback and do give feedback to ACC as well <clears throat> so this is a change and for me this is a very important change that they are purchasing from another uh, country and the the major reason what I think is it's because of the cheap so this is a change that you have to see that company uh, has done so this change should be highlighted because what I've seen that many of our students what they do they highlight the entire scenario 
and they themselves forget afterwards that what are the important things okay so just highlight things that i'm mentioning here then it says in 20x4 jungle also became a major provider of cloud computing services uh, investing heavily in cloud technology so now this is another important thing so and this is this is something that is important that it is a service business as well so it, it, it's first a, a, a trading business first it was a trading business where it was trading the uh, products of household and electric uh, goods and now it's a service business as well so this is important to figure out this service provides customer with a way of storing and accessing data and programs over the internet rather than on their computer hard drives all jungle customers have the option to sign up for the company's gold membership service which provides next day delivery on all orders now this is another key change i would say or a key information that one should highlight that those who sign up with this service they get the delivery next day in return for an annual fee of dollar 40. so this is another important observation and change in september 20x5 jungle formed its own logistic company now this is another change are you see are you seeing what i i wanted to tell you so you can see this is a chain own logistic company and took over the delivery of all its parcel instead of using instead of using abit this class and webinar is for f5 so please just use this for f5 it's not for f9 f9 has its own different methodology okay so sometimes if i get time i'll discuss f9 as well instead of using services of international delivery companies so yes this is an important change over the last year there has been worldwide growth in electronic goods market of 20 percent now the third thing i want to tell you just underline all the important amounts given in the question amounts and the percentages this is a very easy point i will make this really peanut for you i'm sure i'm sure you will like my strategy so do underline anything that is of percentage or an amount so this is an amount and this says that worldwide electronic goods market have enhanced by 20 percent average growth rates and gross profit margins for cloud computing service providers have been so this is 50 percent which is growth rate for cloud computing market and 20 percent is the average gross profit margin of cloud computing businesses so these are the percentages one should highlight so amount and percentage should be highlighted respective in the last year jungle company prices have remained stable year on year for all sector of its businesses so make sure you do highlight one more thing and that is i don't have a space here let me write here uh, any price information that is given it's really crucial to highlight price information because this gives us the idea whether the company has changed its price a company intends to change its price in the future or not so that has remained stable when the price remains stable listen friends when the price remains stable and the company's sales increases when the company sales increases but price remains stable this means the entire reason for the increase is the volume okay so this gives you a very good information that if the price has in change and and the sales has increased so definitely the reason is that company company uh company company uh, has increased is volume okay so this gives a very good information about the volume so i hope you understood what i meant here now let's close while reading the scenario of financial non-financial indicators four things are one that one should mark nature of the business this nature of the business any important changes that company has done or plans to do any amount or percentages given and the price information if you do underline these four things definitely these four will be a one that will give you a lot of information while drafting your answer okay and i'll show you how i will use this <clears throat> so we have 20 x6 20 x5 data 
and we are provided with two years data just because we need to compare that and comparison is important because without comparison you cannot conclude on things so you have a revenue cost of sale gp admin distribution and the operating expense and net profit information mind you there's no balance sheet given here as i mentioned okay we have a breakup of revenue here we do have a breakup of cost of sales here so we we do have a note for admin which says included in the admission expenses are the cost of running customer service department and the amount of that customer service department is 860 and 1900 for 20x5 and 20x6 respectively and this department deals with customer complaints okay so if you see if you are imaginative enough so you can really figure out that customer complaints is more like a non-financial area and yes the question is giving you a hint that admin cost includes something uh, that relates to non-financial area are you getting my point understand the admin expenses uh, is indicating something that is non-financial then we have non-financial data so it was not far away we can quickly see here percentage of orders delivered on time number of customers complaints as i mentioned number of customers percentage of late gold number deliveries so mind you this is already in terms of percentage so things when when things of non-financial are on already already in terms of percentage so yes uh, you can use them directly uh, as percentages but something like these when they are given in number of something less you can see so you can play with these things more compared to these percentages so you can play with these things and through these you can even uh, make another new indicator especially uh, when things are given in terms of uh, the absolute amount or the number of something okay now now i just want to move towards the million dollar technique let's see what are we supposed to do first of all it says for for both financial and non-financial calculate ratios calculate ratios now as i mentioned that mostly you are not provided with balance sheet uh, and when i see pnl so i am left with very less options if i just go back to the question very quickly so i can show you that having said that you have pnl here so by looking at the numbers in the pnl very less ratios are workable here if i just recall the list that i discussed today so using that list i can just work out gp margin that is gross profit margin and not profit margin and nothing else so how i'll be able to uh, assess the performance for 20 marks if i can just work out two things from the profit and loss statement so here the students get stuck so i'm giving you a very important tool and do use my gift this is a gift for you people this is a gift that i'm giving you people and that gift is whenever uh, information like this is presented and mainly it is how the information is presented and you can just work out very few indicators from the list so what you do you work out two very important thing that is percentage of sales growth always work out percentage of sales growth and percentage of percentage of no percentage change in cost so Remember, these are the two that you should work out every time and this gives you a very good idea. Just forget about everything. What I'm telling, just listen. Percentage sales growth and percentage change in cost, you should work out, okay? So how you work out any sort of a percentage change? So it's very simple. You use the current year figure of that thing. You deduct that from the previous year figure and you divide that with the previous year figure and you can get the percentage change so any percentage that you need to work out you use current year figure minus previous year figure divided previous year figure so you'll work out the percentage change so if i apply this technique uh, on this question uh, in order to work out the ratios so it will give me a sign of a breather that oh, i can now work out things i cannot i can now think about the ratios like you can see i can work out percentage sales growth i can work out 
percentage cost of sales okay i can work on gp margin as i already mentioned before i can work out percentage administration costs i can work out percentage distribution costs i can work out i can work out percentage operating expenses i can work out net profit margin see so things are automatically now opening up and yes this gives a student the idea what to do in the examination so it's my very simple gift to you people that question like these when come in the examination my friends my dear friends what you have to do is uh, you work out the traditional penal based measures like gp margin and net profit margin but along with that do work out all sort of percentage changes whether it's of revenue or whether it's of cost okay so i hope this is clear now in this question we have more detailed information like we have breakdown of revenue so revenue has been split into further things so this means that it is not just sales growth i will be working out overall rather than i will also work out the sales growth for different products like household goods for electronic goods even for services like cloud computing services and gold membership fees because we are provided with the revenue breakdown so i will use that revenue breakdown okay for cost of sales uh, if if we if we don't want to calculate the breakup so it's okay doesn't matter we'll cover up that through different way uh, but for revenue yeah we we need to do it so we'll do that so i think uh, i have mentioned that million dollar point and i've proved my point here that how actually we are supposed to use and i'm sure you will remember the two gifts that i'm giving you so did you like the gifts everyone come on what's your feedback is the session going good are you understanding each and every instruction that i'm giving i'm trying my really best that i cover almost everything in the minimum amount of time very few answers i'm getting i don't know why people don't reply much you know it's very very difficult to communicate so many things uh, in in that limited amount of time so i need uh, i also need motivation from you people okay so please uh, do motivate me as well now once you are done with the uh, ratio the next thing that comes is compare anything in isolation is of no use for example you uh, look in the mirror and by looking at the mirror you are saying oh how pretty i am how handsome i am how handsome i am so uh, is this a right thing is 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 it a right thing no you you can't just you can't just say yourself that you are very pretty good handsome you need to compare yourself uh, with someone else because when you compare with someone else then exactly you get to know how good you are so you cannot just uh, say uh, good things about yourself in isolation it is really important that you compare yourself same goes for the ratio uh, you cannot say uh, a ratio itself is good you need to compare with the comparatives and the comparatives include the past year information the comparative includes the uh, industry averages for example so you can use these things and compare okay then comes the main part where you are given the marks this is the part where the marks are awarded to you uh, and this is what examiner wants to test and that is how you link with the scenario how to link with the scenario you explain the reason but yes it's 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 important to link with the scenario and and listen listen friends uh, you remember i i just told you initially today uh let me just show you again uh the four things the four things that you have to underline while reading a question these four things these four things once you are able to underline these four things correctly then these will help you these will help you uh to link with the scenario so these four things will actually help you to link with the scenario and this is the this is the most important thing uh, what i believe is that if you underline the right things then you can link so linking is key 
Okay, I'll tell you the way to compare <laughs> once I start with the answer. Okay. No operating profit is profit before interest in tax and gross profit comes before that. Okay. Gross profit comes before that. So from gross profit when you deduct the non production expenses. Non production expenses, then you get profit before interest in tax. Okay, Francisco. I hope this is clear then explanation is the most key thing that I'll make peanuts for you today uh, and then comes conclusion on the basis of which we conclude so million dollar points are clear uh, I hope no cherry it's operating profit is not net profit listen very carefully gross profit comes first from that gross profit once you deduct non production expenses then you get profit before interest in tax from profit before interest in tax which is known as operating profit as well from that operating profit once you deduct interest and taxation then you get net profit okay then you get net profit so are the million dollar points pretty much clear and if they are let's not waste our time so let's start with the ratios now i've done everything for you people you just have to look at the screen and understand you have just have to look at the screen and understand i've done everything for you people okay so just look at the screen and understand and uh, the new slides have been given to you the new slides have been attached in the webinar section as well plus i have already shared the new slides uh, in the whatsapp group as well so you already have the answers with you so just be relaxed have a cup of tea or a coffee if you if you uh, can manage and don't sleep yes don't sleep and listen the technique i will cover in 20 25 minutes and will teach you how to link because this is the area where normally people do not concentrate a lot and people just rectify certain answers and just try to replicate the answers in the examination scenario which i personally believe it's wrong okay now let's start so let's see what ratios are we calculating here first of all i can work out the gross profit sorry i think i missed out something mm. just wait just wait just just give me a minute okay just give me a minute uh, yes and you you what you do you people just uh, think about the ratios that you can work out i'm giving you two minutes for thinking and in two minutes i'm coming back just give me two minutes but yes do work out ratios using the data the ratios that i mentioned you just work out very quickly
So I hope you are doing the calculations very quickly. And we are about to start. So I've just given you time for calculations. You can quickly just skim through the workings so that later on I just have to focus on the explanation part. Okay, so we are about to start. Your time is up now for the workings. Now, let's come back to the, the solution. So first of all, what we can work out is percentage change in revenue, okay? So you can see percentage in revenue along with that. I have also worked out percentage in household electronic cold cloud computing and gold membership fee. So if you can see here everything has been done percentage change in uh, revenue is is this is overall. So this is overall which is 15% no figure for 2005 obviously. Uh, this is the current figure. This is the previous year figure divided by previous year. Then we have worked out percentage change in household revenue, which is negative 5.27 electronic goods revenue change, which is 28.28 percent positive. Then we have percentage change in cloud computing services, which is wow 90.18 percent. And then we have percentage change in gold membership fee negative 30 percent. So see what calculations I have done. I worked out the percentage change in revenue overall as well as the individual uh, product lines or service lines that the company has. I worked out for that. So current year figure is 2006 minus minus previous year figure of 2005 and divide by 2005. So I hope uh, the numbers won't matter you okay and you can just cross check the workings later on through the presentation as well. Second thing that uh, I've worked out here is gross profit overall gross profit overall is what I have worked out and for that what I've done is I have this gross profit figure of 40 uh, 129 and 3612. Uh, so I've used this gross profit and worked out 41 to 9 divide by the sales. And this is 42% for 2006. And the same I worked out for 2007. So this is gross profit overall that I've done the calculation. Then what I've done that instead of working out separate uh, percentage change in cost of sales, uh, I have worked out the gross profit for each. Like for example, what I've done is 38990 is the revenue of household. If you deduct the cost 23394. So once you deduct the cost, so you get what? From the revenue, if you deduct the cost, so you get. It. Can you tell me what we'll get? We'll get the gross profit and the gross profit is 15596. So I worked out the separate gross profit margins for each uh, household electronic cloud computing and gold membership. So once I divide this with the sales of household only, which is three eight nine nine zero. So I will be getting the answer of 40 percent. 40 percent. I'm just showing you a sample working so that you get to know how the calculations have been done. So it's very simple. I worked out the revenue. I, I have the revenue of a household. I've deducted the what you call cost and I'll get the GP and from this GP I'll I'll divide the GP with the sales and I'll get 40 percent as a gross profit for household and same now you can work out for electronic goods for cloud computing and for gold membership. So I hope this is clear. What I need to it's it's very simple uh, Robab Kazmi. It's very simple. I did mention that the sales of household minus the cost of household is equals to gross profit. 
and gross profit divided by sales will give me the gross profit margin okay rubab is this clear okay so i hope this is clear to all of you so like this you have to do calculations for all and now you can see these gross profit margins for household 40% that i just showed you the working and for the previous year then for electronic and the previous year then for cloud computing and for previous year then for gold membership and for previous year so i hope this is clear that how i have worked out the individual product or service gross profit margins so would have i hope this is clear to all of you who are listening to me right now so the overall gross profit is simple to work out that i just showed you this these are the gross profit figures and once you divide this gross profit with the sales so you work out the gp margin for overall now then what i've done is as i mentioned that i will work out percentage change for cost <clears throat> percentage change in cost it's good to work out everything in ratio maximum okay so percentage in admin cost it's very simple the current figure is 2760 previous is 1720 as we can see from the breakup 2760 1720 and this is the percentage change in administration cost then what i've done is i've worked out percentage change in customer service cost as well and customer service cost means that uh, you just look in the note 3 here so we are provided with this customer cost and it did mention that administration cost includes the customer service cost and this is 1900 of the current year okay and 860 of the previous year and i worked out the percentage change in customer service cost which is 120% which is included in this administration cost okay now uh then we have distribution i'll i'll tell you the marking scheme okay i'll tell the marking scheme then we have distribution expenses so i worked out that as well distribution expense 13420 okay and uh, previous 13180 and this is the answer then we have net profit margins simple net profit net profit divided by sales net profit divided by sales so this is how we have worked out the net profit margin so this is mainly all financial that i have worked out because too much of financial information is given in the question now this is one non financial that i have worked out here is what percent customer complaints as a percentage of customer per customer complaints as a percentage of customer and how i have worked out this and why i have just worked out this there are two things that i am telling you how and why okay in the area of non financial if you see percentage of orders delivered on time are already in percentage so there is no need to work out then already in percentage so it's something that is given in percentage so don't need to work out then you have percentage of late gold member deliveries that is also in percentage so i'll use the percentage for my explanation that's it okay now these are in the absolute numbers so what i've done is that i've worked out an indicator using both and that is a uh, customer complaints as a percentage of customers so how will you do the working of that it's very simple you see 1400 1400 are the complaints divided by number of customers divided by number of customers so 1400 divided by number of customers will give you 19.72% which means out of the total customers 19.72 customers lodged the complaint so the complaint came from 19.72 customers out of the total customers so what i've done is complaints divided by customers okay so this gives me percentage complaints 
in relation to customers so this is a non financial indicator okay because the rest non financial performance indicator itself were given in percentage so i have explained you the basis of calculations and i've just explained you the method of that as well so now you stay chill don't worry and now i'm moving towards uh, the next part and that part is where we will be discussing about the reason so you remember the four million dollar points first was calculate the ratio that we did then compare that we'll do and then explanation where i have to link with the scenario okay you just listen the math the way i'm explaining you later on i'll tell you how to draft in a word processing sheet so don't worry about that drafting okay that's very easy first just understand this is a very easy to understand method of explanation but listen that you don't have to uh, make these boxes in your paper i'll tell you how actually you have to draft in your examination but right now this method is just to make things very easy for you to understand so let's start let's start and uh, <clears throat> uh, let me just yeah so let's start with the workings first of all the first we have is percentage change in revenue 14.9% uh, as you can see so the first we have is percentage change in revenue overall now this is the ratio and obviously uh, i i i don't have any other percentage comparative available so i would just say that compared to the last year compared to the last year i'm comparing the last year compared to the last year uh, the revenue has changed by 14.99% which is 15% so compared to the last year the revenue changed by 15% this should be my first sentence in my explanation i should start my explanation by comparing you should start your explanation friends by comparing first okay so compared to last year the revenue increased by 15% now we have to come towards to the reason so what's what the reason is in order to understand what has happened in the business it is necessary to consider sales by looking at each of the following different categories so now this is the overall change in the revenue and now we are moving towards the breakup to see why the overall sales has increased by 15% so for that i'll first start with the household percentage change in household revenue so what happened percentage in the household revenue decreased so let's quickly verify uh, yes it decreased by 5.27% so household revenue decreased by 5.27% now now comes the main role is of linking with the scenario now comes the main task and for that what i have done initially that i did try to underline key things so that i can link with the scenario so the revenue of the household has gone down now any direct connection do you find from the scenario any direct link you find from the scenario yes we do have a link and let me just use a different color pen now to highlight or i can highlight here so now see how can i link the decrease in the household revenue it's so simple it's so simple see that is new suppliers were found from another country where labor is very cheap and for many of his household good that's it done finish that's it this is a link you just tell the examiner that the reason for this the 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 most probable reason the most possible reason for the decline in the sales of household is that company have started buying from another country for very cheap and this has affected the quality that's it done done and dusted for household you need the reason this is the reason you just mention in your answer see the company changed supplier for many of its household goods during the year buying them instead from a country where labor was cheap it may yeah this is the word you have to use use more words of may might don't just be very confident and say should no you don't you word do you don't use word should you use may may it may be that this has affected the quality of the goods thus leading to decrease in demand that's it 
this is a direct link and you will be awarded marks for that very simple are you understanding my friends come on give me the feedback is this clear to you yes or no this is a very straightforward link that i've done and that's it okay so are you liking the approach what's your feedback so done with this one then we have the second one percentage change in electronic goods so it increased by 28 percent compared to last year from comparing last year it increased by 28.2 percent why let's find the reason so the four things that i mentioned initially that i marked out let's use that so how can i link so it's it's so simple my friends see there has been a worldwide growth in electronic goods market of 20 percent wow 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 so easy so easy so it's it's oh man it's so slow right now it's very slow that's why you can't see okay so as i mentioned that the question clearly indicates the lines are missing the line thank you yasir thank you relax <laughs> okay so you can see here it's a very obvious link in the question that the sales increased for the electronic goods the sales had increased by uh, 20 percent and that became the reason so simple this is partly due to the fact that electronic goods market has grown by 20 percent worldwide but the company increased the sales by 28 percent market growth is 20 percent company has increased more so the jungle company has even outperformed this this meaning that it has secured a larger segment of the market so yes it has outperformed but this is the direct link my friends that's it that's it your examiner will award you marks for that why people struggle in this area this is the core of f5 this is the this is this is p5 this is apm which is core of f5 and that that award that i personally love a lot and you can see right now so are we done with this yes we are done with this now now i don't know why the question is appearing like this I need this information and not getting it in the right way as it should be. Yeah, now it's okay. So let me just rub that wrong statement. Okay, so let me highlight this 20% point. Okay, that's done. Now, now, Second, change in cloud computing services revenue. 90%. Wow, 90% increase in cloud computing business. Let's find any link. Do we have any link? Yeah, we have a link. What's the link? Average growth rates and gross profit margin. So we are concerned with average growth rates. For cloud computing service providers have been 50%. So the market has increased by 50%. The cloud computing market has increased by 50%. If the cloud computing market has increased by 50%, so that is the reason the company has outperformed the market where the average growth rate is 50, but our increase is by 90, suggesting that the investment in the cloud computing was worthwhile. So this is a direct connection with the scenario. Scenario does mention about the reason. If scenario does mention about the reason, then why you are frustrated, my friends? It's really given loud and clear in the paper what the reason is. So yes, this is the reason. So connection with the scenario. And I'm just giving you a clear link by highlighting things it's it's something one cannot one can easily understand so done with this then what next we have <clears throat> change in gold membership fee revenue how oh, bad this decreased by 30 percent this decreased by 30 percent okay 
this decreased by 30 percent this means the uh what you say call the gold membership fee <coughs> revenue decreased by 30 percent as i can see in my question from 2000 it going towards 1400 so this is a decrease okay now the question is why why this is decreasing so let's see let's make a connection with nfpi let's connect with nfpi you can see percentage of late gold member deliveries in august 31st to 20x5 we were delaying by two percent but this time we have delayed by 14 percent wow we have we have we have delayed by 14 percent so so much of late deliveries so much of late deliveries and why why this has happened why this has happened so it's really 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 simple my friends this could be because the company has opened their own delivery system own delivery system see company has opened their own delivery system and this own delivery system is the one that is helping the company so you can see a very obvious link here understood friends very obvious link here okay so who says it's difficult this may be again maybe because customers are dissatisfied with the service that they are receiving the number of late deliveries from for gold members has increased from 2 to 14 this is the quantification this is what your examiner loves in the paper the more you quantify the more you use percentages this is what your examiner loves oh mohammed mursaleen i already showed you initially this is a decrease in revenue please concentrate i have really short time I cannot answer every question. This is a decrease in revenue that I initially told you. Okay. Since Jungle Company began using its own logistic company, and this is a direct link for the decrease. Direct link for the decrease. So you have to link with this scenario. Link with this scenario. I hope this is clear. Okay, friend. Mursarin, I hope this is clear. So this is a decline. In revenue and the reason is the company started its own fleet of vehicles and because of that complaints increased because company were delivering it late and customers gone and sales went down so this is a direct connection that i made here so i hope this is getting very simple to handle uh, from examination point of view guys are you understanding this easy to understand technique I, I i didn't make this easy i'm just giving you the trick here okay now the next is percentage gross profit margin overall uh gp increased from 37 to 42 gp increased from 37 to 42 now let me give you another trick for for all kind of profit margins i repeat for all kinds of profit margin just do just do one first thing and what is that compare percentage change in revenue with percentage change in cost of sales percentage change in cost of sales for all gross profit margins do the same thing so let's see the sales increased by 15 percent okay and if you need a proof of that so i can give you the proof of that see 15 percent the sales increased by 15 percent and i have done one more working here that is i've worked out the percentage in cost of sales so if you want to know how i will do this calculation so it's very straightforward and simple can you see these two things here if you can so let's work out 54 531 minus 51 708 divided by 51 708 so this is a percentage change in cost of sales okay 
percentage change in cost of sale so for gross profit margin the first thing that i would advise you people to do is you do what you calculate the percentage change in cost of sales which is 5.46 percent and compare that with the sales so the sales increased by 15 percent whereas the cost increased by just 5.46 percent so it's simple the first thing is very simple the sales increased by a higher percentage of 15 percent and cost increased by a lower percentage of 5.46 percent and because of that because of that gross profit margin increased wow wow because of this gross profit margin increased okay so for all kind of gross profit margins the first thing that you do is you work out percentage change in cost of sales and compare that with revenue automatically you will get to know what has happened if sales has increased by a higher amount like here and cost has increased by a lower amount so this means that the company's gp margin will increase now let's discuss further into detail breakup wise gp margin so let's see breakup wise gp margin so it's simple let's go back here to our calculations and see overall is 42 now household gp margin increased from 30 it went to 40 household gp margin increased from 30 to 40 okay and electronic gp margin increased from 35 to 36 so the overall increase in profit margin gross profit margin was mainly because of mainly i'm telling you the breakup mainly because of that the household gp margin has increased from 30 to 40 this is the major reason and also the electronic growth margin have increased from 35 to 36 so if i see here the gp margin for electronic increased by one percent and the margin for household increased by 10 percent that is from 30 it went to 40. now the question is that why gp margin of household has increased significantly so it's very simple very simple very simple and that is you can see here let's highlight again because of buying cheaper goods from the other country which is cheaper which means it provided the opportunity to improve your profits so you can see here it's simple this is therefore largely responsible for increase in overall gp margin this is because company is sourcing these products from new cheaper supplier that's why increase the gross profit margin so this is a direct connection again made and link with the scenario so i hope you are understanding all the techniques that i'm telling you so it's simple right now moving towards the next one is gross profit margin for cloud computing now this is strange the gross profit margin of cloud computing from 75 went down to 65 whereas the gross profit margin of uh, gold membership fee from 95 came to 92 so both are showing a decline both are showing a decline okay both are showing a decline so the two that were increasing were just household and electronic goods now decline why they are declining so let's quickly see <clears throat> gold membership fee constitute a small part of the company's income two percent decline in the gross profit margin has had a little impact on the overall increase in gross profit margin because not big big uh, impact this will bring uh, cloud computing gp margin has also fallen from 76 to 66 this is so these two actually these two actually are the reason for pushing the gp margin on a lower side and these two are the reasons for the increase in gp margin okay so because of these two the gp margin has gone down and because of these two the gp margin has gone up now now uh if you just see here in the scenario uh, it did mention that the gross profit margin was 80 percent for the cloud computing 
for cloud computing the average average growth profit margin is 80 percent this means the sector you have to compare with the sector you can't leave this okay so the cloud computing loss profit margin is 80 percent uh, as you can see here but r has fell down to 66 which means we are 14 percent below than the market in cloud computing area where we need to investigate but if someone says me okay tell me why your gp margin has increased from 37 to 42 so i would say because of the household gross profit margin have increased significantly by 10 percent uh, and one percent increase in electronic good resulted in the increase in gross profit margin whereas there are two product lines one service line and product line where the gp margin has gone down that is gold membership and cloud computing so these two became the reason for the uh, lower side of gp margin but the first two became the reason for the increase in gp margin and this is the link that i did and break up i told you for gross profit margin let me tell you that examiner is awarding eight marks eight marks exam is awarding for the entire revenue discussion eight marks for entire revenue discussion and five marks will be awarded to you for entire gross profit discussion so that is why the crucial area were these two eight marks from that area of revenue five marks from this area which means 13 marks out of 20 wow 13 marks out of 20 have been done in no time okay so i hope the direct reasons are clear everyone now the remaining few let's quickly discuss percentage change in administration cost the remaining eight for revenue five for gross profit makes 13 so the remaining seven marks are for these what i'm discussing right now so let's quickly wind up this percentage change in administration costs increased by 60 percent compared to last year why 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 admin cost has increased let's find the reason yeah these these are marks because of the breakup of revenue and sales hamza let's find the reason why the administration cost has increased so it's very simple and easy to link here that admin costs have increased because the service department cost is included in admin expenses and the service department cost was 860 and now it's 1900 which means the service department cost has increased by a very big percentage that i just worked out here and that was 120 percent the service service cost increased by 120 percent and service cost is part of administration cost so it's a direct connection that the service cost has increased by uh 120 percent that is from 860 to 1900 so nothing to be afraid about the customer service department has increased by 120 percent so the question comes why service department cost has increased by 120 percent why so it's it's very simple to justify the service department cost has increased by 120 percent because the question says that this department deals with customer complaints and if this department deals with customer complaints so just have a look the customer complaints have gone up compared to number of customers so you did i did mention that i did work out this ratio and now i'll use this ratio so let's see the ratio is customer complaints as a percentage of customers customer complaints as a percentage of customers means that from 4.92 percent the complaints have gone up to 19.72 percent from 4.92 percent complaints in 2005 had has gone up to 19.72 percent in 2006 so what you expect then if your customer complaints has gone up from 4 to 19 that is why the complaints increase and that is why customer customer service cost increased and when the customer service cost increase so that is increase is by 120 percent 
and because of this admin cost increase wow it's so simple you need to link things directly that the admin cost increase because of the customer service which is included in this customer service increased because of the complaints as you can see complaints have gone up from 4.92 to 19.72 this is a non financial indicator that i'm using here non financial performance indicator i'm using here okay so it's a direct link that i showed you from the question and in no time we have done that okay friends loving it or not so i've used this as well now distribution right thank you so now let's see percentage change in distribution cost it increased by 1.82 percent just just 1.82 percent just normally what we do we compare this distribution cost with sales because distribution is highly connected with sales the more the sales the more the distribution cost the more the sales the more the distribution cost so normally remember you do compare distribution with sales okay if i do compare so let's see sales increased by 15 percent wow but distribution cost increased by 1.82 percent 1.82 percent can't imagine distribution cost is connected with sales if sales is increasing by 15%, how come distribution cost is increasing by just 1.82%? How come? There is something fishy here. There is something fishy here. So yes, it's it's this is clear that the business is successful in terms of saving cost. But you know why this happened? This happened because company company. company has its own logistic services and company is delivering itself now because of own delivery company did save cost yeah i do agree because of own service company did saved lot of cost but my friends this saving of cost resulted in non-financial performance indicator this resulted in that your non-financial performance indicator of delivery on time from 92 went to 74 pathetic because of your own logistic system where you saved lot of cost but on the other hand such a saving resulted in a loss loss of what deliveries because you lost on deliveries now previously you were delivering 92 percent on time but now you're delivering just 74 percent on time so friends but the damage which late deliveries are going to the business cannot be ignored as seems by percentage of orders delivered on time which reduced from 92 to 74 i've used this n f p i non financial performance indicator i've used n f p i in my discussion this may also be and yes because of that late delivery this late delivery may became the reason for the complaints so as i link this your complaints that increased a lot the major reason could be that late delivery part so i've linked i've linked these together as well I've linked these together as well and this is superb what, what I think is that uh, you did save in cost by having your own fleet of deliveries but this resulted in that you missed out the deadlines for the deliveries and this could have increased the complaints and as you saw that resulted in increase in administration cost as well so we can clearly link things with the scenario and everything that I've done is direct link and this is what the main secret is behind this area this is what your examiner wants this is the expectation of your examiner which i hope i have covered in a very good way so this is the link i was talking about the last is net profit margin nothing to comment here much because this is the last thing net profit margin has increased from 19 to 25 and this is good 
for the company successful for the company but the critical issue to resolve is the delivery issue that the company needs to make sure that company needs to handle other than that in my entire answer i have given you entire explanation by linking with the scenario linking financials with non financials and this is the best part that you need to learn i hope my this small effort for you people would be worth it so what's your feedback guys after this we'll take a break so any good comments is the million dollar four points good for you people to handle no you don't have to present in a tabular form i'll tell you how to present this okay this is just for your ease so thank you thank you thank you thank you i'll tell you how to practice great i hope you understood my technique i hope this will do wonders for you do give your feedback to acc as well okay and do give your feedback to me as well and acc